The final step in this end-to-end -end system is to visualize the verification result. To do this, we use the MetViewer software, which provides a database and display system for visualizing the statistical output generated by Met in the previous step. So let's expand our Docker commands and take a look at these procedures. First, we need to launch the MetViewer container. For this particular software, we leverage the Docker Compose feature. Docker Compose is a tool that is used to run multiple Docker containers together for one application. The containers are configured using a YAML file so they can be run together. Let's CD into the MetViewer component and take a look at this Docker Compose file. In this case, Docker Compose is launching both a MySQL container for the database and the MetViewer container so that they can be used together for this application. So let's go ahead and run our Docker Compose command. This process can take a bit for all of these services to start up in the background, so you might want to give it just an extra minute after it looks like it's complete. We can use a docker ps-a command to confirm that we have these services running. So let's do docker ps-a, and we can see that we have a MetViewer container as well as the MySQL container up and running and ready for use. Once the containers are running, we then need to load the MySQL database for querying and plotting by MetViewer. So we'll copy and paste this docker exec command into our AWS terminal window. And this command calls the metv load all script to process the database for the Sandy case so it's ready for MetViewer to use. And it looks like it's complete. We're almost ready to view our MetViewer GUI, but on AWS, there is one additional step that's required before launching the GUI, and that is to reset the URL and restart the web service. So we'll copy and paste this Docker exec command into our AWS terminal window. This command enters the MetViewer container and runs this reset metv URL script that will reconfigure MetViewer with your current AWS IP address. Once it's complete, you can view the MetViewer GUI by opening up a web browser and copying and pasting this template URL into that web browser and replacing this placeholder for the IPv4 public IP with your actual AWS public IP address. So first we'll copy and paste this template URL into our web browser. I have a tab open here to use for my web browser and I'll paste that template URL in there. Then I'll go to this third tab where I have my AWS web console and find my public IPv4 address here copy it, and then head back to my web browser and replace this placeholder IPv4 public IP with my actual AWS IP address that I just copied, and press enter. So it takes just a couple seconds to load, and now we see that we have a GUI ready to create verification plots. In here, we should see that we have the Sandy database ready for plotting. And you can use this interactive GUI to make plots on the fly, or you can also load XML files that defines different types of plots. So if we go back to our online tutorial, we have a sample XML file to generate a sample plot. Now, even though we're running on AWS, the GUI is running on our browser, so we still need to download this file to our local machine. So we can right click on this link and save the file.
And then we can head back to our MetViewer GUI, click Load XML, choose File, and then navigate to where we just downloaded this XML file and click Open. Then click OK. And you can then click Generate Plot up at the top here. Give it a couple seconds to load and we'll see the verification plot appear. The plot took just a couple minutes to load, but here we have our final plot. We expand our web browser a little bit and you can see the verification plot of the accumulated precipitation equitable threat score. There's an additional sample XML file to plot verification of 10 meter winds that's provided in this tutorial as well, but you can also create your own XML files for plotting different verification statistics or generate plots on the fly using this interactive GUI.